Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, a Game of Thrones modification. And today I'm going to continue my campaign as the Reeds, as Lord Howland Reed, the Bold of the Neck. And But currently I'm visiting Starfall, or at least I'm looking at Starfall, because uh, I want to tell you a story. Um, actually it's not really a story, but it's something interesting. Now. You can see here, Arthur Dane, Arthur Dane, the Sword of the Morning, and uh, he was a member of the King's Guard, and he wielded an ancestral sword of the House Dane, which is called Dawn, and he's living down here in Dorn. That's pretty cool. The Dane in Dorn who wields Dawn. Now, what is interesting about him? He was a knight and a duelist, and a formidable fighter, and a skilled commander. But I slew him in personal battle. I was slain by Lord Howland of the Neck in personal combat. And uh, I slew him over here. In, uh... Was that it? Yeah, in the Tower of Joy. That's where I slew him. And, um... Now, there are rumors, um... At least there's a theory I've read about in the wiki that some people believe that his sister Ash Ashara Dane um, is actually she's supposed to uh, commit suicide but that she actually is my wife Gianna and uh, there are people who believe that and they say that because of a story my daughter Mera told to Bran when he was over here at um, Knight's Fort at the castle of Nightford, she told Bran a story um, about a Cranach man and uh, a Northman who attended a tournament over here in Harrenhal. And um, so at that tournament, I supposedly, you know, I was kind of falling in love with Ashara Dane. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it's true. I mean, I know it's true. Well, I know if it's true or not. Um, I definitely looked after her, and I was like, she was beautiful. She was very attractive. I think that even says it on her, um, on her character. Let me sh let me show that again. Yeah, so she was very attractive, um, but unfortunately she was depressed, so she committed suicide. Very unfortunate. Lovely person, but the theory that this is my wife now is completely wrong. I mean, look, she had green eyes, and Shara Dane has purple eyes like uh, all of her siblings do. Purple eyes, there you go. So she's not my wife. Anyway, so let's continue. We're currently in a war. War for the Dawn, which is funny because it was talking, I was just talking about the sword, the Valyrian sword of House Dane, which is called Dawn. So there's a lot of symbolism here. Uh, but let's continue. Very good military ruler, okay. Now, one thing to mention, this guy, Lord Alton of Old Castle, he's married to uh, my daughter, Mera. Oops, we're in command. Rickon of the North was de has declared Northern Castle servant... Okay. Anyway. No longer in command. Okay, thank you for telling me. Stop. Anyway. Now, this guy, who is a little stubborn and a craven, and also rude, he's not really a great person. I don't know how you can how you can be gregarious and rude at the same time. And we apparently lost the war. That's unfortunate. Anyway, he is currently Lord of Old Castle. And when he dies, or well, if he dies, that would be terrible because his brother will inherit. But if he gets a child with our daughter, then um, we will inherit Old Castle. And uh, that would be would be cool. However, as a Cranach man. I do not really feel comfortable having holdings outside of the neck. And therefore, once I get Old Castle, if if I ever got Old Castle, I will give it to a Vesterosi um, or a Northman um, that I like and that uh, maybe who likes me, and I'll give it to him. I will be his liege, He, I will have him swear fealty to me, um, but I don't want to keep it myself. It's kind of weird. And why is there a Stormlander army over here? Army of Danos. 135 men. 34. 
I'm no longer in command. Great. I'm only a skilled fighter. I was a formidable fighter, but I'm no longer a formidable fighter. Fortunately, I'm too old. I'm getting too old for that. So what's been going on? The Freys are being sieged. Nice! What are the Freys are war with? Lord Wurm the Inland. Lord Paramount Petter Lingle Littlefinger. So, River and Black... What? River Run and Black... Why, why are you fighting? Oh, you're fighting against them. Lord Paramount Robert of the Vale. Okay, so this must be the second war you're in. Um... Oh, somebody has a claim on the Freylands. Nice. Oh yeah, get those Frey boys. Get them. I have a claim on the twins, and I could probably de I cannot declare war. Right. Now, Petir Balish. Yeah, Petir I would have to declare war on him. Um, no, I can't even do that. Why can I not declare war on him? What has reached you that your priest Summer has given into weakness and helped herself to the alms she was meant to distribute amongst the poor. Return the gold and all may be forgiven. Um, off to dungeons with her. Now, as a priest, well, she's actually an eagle. She's attractive, and gre has green dreams, and is a skilled fighter and an elusive shadow. Now, hmm, she's a family person, she's very just. I don't think she's just when she, if she does that, but um, I think everyone deserves a second chance. So I think return to gold and all may be forgiven. But if you do it again, Summer, let me tell you, you're gonna go into the dungeons. Let me tell you that. So she does like me because does she like me for something? Wow, priest, skilled fighter, brave, just, uh, family person, honorable. Wow, so many good things. Just awesome. They all love me. Now I have this claim on the Lordship of the Twins, and it can be inherited by successors, uh, by my successor, which is cool, and um, I think this only works because I went to war for it, uh, but I'm not sure. Oh, I just got really old, wow. And I am called the Bold, and we are in command. Rickon of the North has declared Northern claim on the Riverlands. Oh, okay, so Rickon, here. He has a weak claim on the Riverlands, and he just went to war to get his claim. Now, this is actually a chance for... Hmm. Can I kind of want to have the twins, actually. I cannot declare the war for some reason. Is that because I've had truce or something? And my fertility is lower because I'm in command. Okay. This character is currently commanding an army in the field. Military matters consume their time and take them far from home, leaving little opportunity for either duty or pleasure. Okay. Now, I'm quite old. I don't really want to fight. This is my army. No, Master Torrin is leading this army. This is a... some 644 men. Mm, I think I should get a haircut. I'm called the Bold, but I have way too much hair to be the Bold. There you go. Now I'm the Bold. That makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, but the beer looks the beer looks good. Hey, I can't go back. Hold on. This is the only beer I can get now. Aww. Oh, ha! Exit. Okay, so I'll, I'll keep this beard. Looks more badass than the other one. Um, yes, more retinue, and I have money. I could uh, probably build something. Actually, I could also build one of these things, but I'm not going to. I'm rather going to build... I still have winter, so I don't want to. I want to wait until winter is gone. Now, Stark, you have only 2,000 men. Are you sure you want to fight this? And Seaguard is defending. Wow, he's fighting a lot of people. The Moors claim on the Riverlands. Wow. And there is another. Others invasion. King Edric the Suspicious. And your regent is Petir Balish. Wow. So he is Hand of the King. Regent. And he's currently in a couple wars. Well. Balish. Oh, I think he's gonna go for the Iron Throne. I have the feeling at least. And the other's invasion. Oh my god, they're gonna take Brandon's gifts. 
I'm gonna take Castle. Yeah, they took Castle Black and Brandon's gift. So we have East Watch by the Sea and the Knight's Watch, uh, the new gift. But this is not, this is not defended. There's no, there's no holding here. Queen's Crown. Okay, well, Queen's Crown is not, is not really big. It's a tiny uh, castle. On East Watch by the Sea is now completely cut off, and Lord Commander Snow has no chance to defend that. Actually, in his new administration, oh, that is terrible. Levy size minus 200. Of course, he has no chance. And we can imprison Irina because uh, she's leader of a plot. Well, how about you end your plot? Whatever your plot was. Replace Mika Diaz. Yeah, you're not going to replace anyone as Master of Coin. Most definitely. Now, I'm very interested to see what happens if Rickon... Uh, and it looks like he's going to get his claim on the Riverlands. That's going to be so awesome. All of the Riverlands. Hopefully, if that happens, he will give me the twins. He might, he might not. But if he does, I would be so happy. Okay, there is a new, I cannot declare war. I can declare one Petio Baelish. No. That sucks. I'm gonna save up my money for now, and we'll see. We'll see what, uh, what happens. Summer Hall, still a ruin. I wonder why uh, Heron Hall is not considered a ruin. Should be. Heron Hall Castle has extra tax income. It's considered the greatest castle. Okay, and this is a holy site. The Drowned God considers Heron Hall a holy site. Do we have a holy site? Does not. Oh, actually. Fen Fenden. No, doesn't look like it. Does Greywater Watch have anything? No, I think Greywater Watch should have something. Um, like um, uh, harder to defend, uh, harder to uh, attack because it moves or something like that. Master Torin of Mort Kalen. His heir is Pella of the Dreadford, the Boltons. Okay. Rickon is heir to the Dreadford. And Sansa, oops, what just happened? Oh, okay, so the Freylands are now part of the Vale. Lord Robert won. He's a tyrant, yeah. Who who would wonder that? Who wonders about that? I know. He's selfish, yeah. Okay, we're 55%, and uh, it looks like he's gonna... It looks like the Starks are gonna get the Riverlands after all. Petyr Balish, seems like he has no chance. He's fighting too many wars at the moment. Nakon's Rich and River Run. Um, but it seems... What the heck is happening? Stop doing things. I would love to get... To, what, what are you doing? Dude, seriously. Stop it. And the Iron Isle still have huge parts of the reach that is quite frightening actually but independent interesting the western lands i think cersei is currently ruling the western lands is that true oh and she looks old she's an intrigue focus and uh, died in battle against king edric garrett flowers benedict broom Okay. Never heard of that house. Kenneth. Um, okay. Tommen is imprisoned by Willem the Usurper. Cracklaw Point. He has two counties. He is a county. He, this is owned by a Lannister. Dawn Forest is. How is that whole. Why do you have that? You should not have it. But he's content. And he wields Widow's Whale. Interesting. And Marcella, the fair, she's attractive and quick. Oh, that's nice. And she's... Oh, she's actually a good person. I mean, she's a little rough, but uh, that's it. She's chaste, charitable, gregarious. Pretty cool person. 
And she owns Storm's End. Why does she own Storm's End? High Lordship of Shipbreaker Bay. Okay, now I need a Justice Star and a Spy Master. Aaron Lord of Turwell. Alright, let's get him. Make him scheme. And my Justice Star. What happened to my daughter? Donald Lord of Silverreed. Okay. Now you should probably improve relations with Rick and Stark. There you go. And where's my daughter now? She is... Oh, Lady of Old Castle. Well, that, she was that before. Oh, and they had a kid. It, oh, she was pregnant. I didn't notice. Mage Reed. My granddaughter. She did have a kid. Awesome. But uh, she's a lunatic. Oh, she was attractive too. Aw, oh, too bad she died stillborn. Oh, that really sucks. Hopefully she's gonna have another kid. At least at least they're they're uh, having sex, so that's good. Oh, and the twins are being sieged. Nice. Wanna declare war? Why won't you let me declare war? Devastating winter. Oh my gosh, it's getting worse. Are we gonna make any money at all? Alright, who's this? Whispers Peasant Revolt. Okay. Nothing that really concerns me, to be honest. This hard feel. This hard to feel proud when it has nothing to be proud of. What? I slew a Kingsguard member. How can I not be proud about that? Ah. Uh, well. Oh, no, 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 I'm getting ill. I don't feel... Oh, no, no, that is bad. Hopefully, Mira, you're gonna have another baby. Oh, she's pregnant again. Nice. Come on, pop out a baby. Lord Aethers of Flint Keep has declared Flint Keep War for Queen Sansa's claim on Lord... Oh, okay. So now he is fighting. Well, who's in this? Uh, pet your little... F and King scores Flint Finger and Flint Keep. So this is Flint Finger. There is Serper. Okay. That is Flint's keep. They're also Flint. Oh, okay. But this is a hill's cl hill clansman. And this is Northman. So we have two Flints and we have two uh, Riz Rizvelds who uh, own quite a lot of land over here. Interesting. And he's married to the Mandalays. Oh, that is a strong alliance. Heir to the Barrowlands. And White Harbor. Wow. Wow, they're gonna get even more. They're gonna get powerful. The Rizwells are gonna get very powerful. They have three high low chips after that. Head to the Barrowlands and White Harbor. Yeah, wow. They're gonna be very super powerful. And they're gonna be right next to us. We. They're scary. I have to watch out about that. Come on, Mira. Pop out that baby. This woman is with child. Come on. Alright, so this war is going pretty good. Um, but uh, hopefully Rick can finish this one before he starts a new one. Because that would be kind of a pain if he would just let this war drag on. Okay, this war ended. Wait, is Sansa on the phone? Hold on. Uh, so this war apparently ended. Uh, okay. The fever is gone. Oh, thank God. And my nose is dry. The headache is long gone. And I feel alive once again. Luckily, we did not die. Alright, so 80%. Come on. Peace out. Petir Balish. He has three kids. He has, for some reason, Halana. The club-footed, selfish kid. Instead of his son. Oh, it's a bastard, okay. And he has another bastard. So he has two bastard kids, only one real kid. Okay, I can imprison somebody. Lord Marov of Greycan. Why? He has acted dishonorably to me. He has Greycan. Now he's ambitious, which is terrible. 
Um, so I don't know what to do about him, but I will have to end this episode here, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And next time, I will uh, think about what I will do with this guy. So see you then. Steve Tronka, signing off.